Welcome to Bandera Loft. I came to visit my friend Bobby Rodriguez. He's the one that I have almost all my birds from. And I've been building now for the last four years off of his foundation stuff. And uh, right now he takes my young ones to work with him in the morning, a couple of times during the week. Helps me train. So I thought I'd come by and say hello tonight. I brought my birds up with me so we can take them to work. And we're looking at his birds. So today I'm doing Mr. Rodriguez's thing. You already right did me once, but this will be twice. B Rod. B Rod 681 Taino Loft. Taino Loft. That's right. I don't know where Taino comes from, but okay. Puerto Rico. <laughs> a little education. <laughs> but, uh, Anyway, these are his birds. He's got a small team here. Excellent looking pigeons. They're all super sharp. He won the combine this week. Uh, and he has been up every race since the races have started. It is a small club. They only got two or three guys in the club. But the flyer that he is flying against is a top-notch flyer. And he has been right on him or above him most of the time. He gets a lot of birds on the drop. Uh, <laughs> he's good in the distance. I've been working with some of the birds I got from him when I first started. I changed them a little bit, but they're basically, I still have the originals. And uh, that's what I'm building on uh, my stuff. I seen uh, Christian on the YouTube uh, this week. And uh, he got a lot of tattoos, Christian. I don't see no pigeons. He's got tattoos. You said you were going to Jacksonville. You were going to fly out of Jacksonville. Forget about Jacksonville. Be a old beach. Okay? You know where we live, okay? Coco? West Palm? Right in the middle. Move to Vero Beach. Hobble over there. Get a loft up. Go scrounge up some birds so I can kick your ass. Okay, enough of that. Uh, let's see. <coughs> While I'm up here, come and look at my uh, young birds. Let's look, let's see. That he's uh, taking to work with him in the morning. They're just a few. I'm only flying seven pigeons. I lost everything else because a lot of stuff is tryouts. Let's take a look here, people. But, uh,. A lot of mule in this blood. Is, this is his team right now for 2019. Hubens. And let me tell you. Sions. Since George has been doing the training, George, you've seen the difference? Oh, yeah. I love uh, the they've, been, they've been flying excellent. I mean, you know, I'm way down in, the, in my club, but I got top-notch flyers in my club. And we're a lot bigger than this club. Uh, Alex Loft has been killing me. But I have managed to nail him twice. I'm hoping to get one more in before the season is out. It's going to be next to impossible. He's got 30 birds that he's shipping, 40 birds every week. I'm flying seven. Uh, he's an excellent trainer. He's got excellent pigeons. And he's one of the best flyers I've ever seen. Uh, all the brothers are fantastic. They're all very good. The cousins, the brothers. There's five of them or six of them in the family. There's not a, a bad pigeon flyer amongst them. Every one of them will drive you nuts. So if you're gonna compete in this club, you better be ready to fly against them. They will give you all the competition you need. Ask for that. <coughs> we have Tim Persky. His birds are moving very well. He's got an excellent family of uh, Stan Van Reeks. He's just been a little waxed on it, and he, they don't take those Cubans serious. He needs to buckle up in order to beat them. He's got the birds. He just needs a little more of the oomph to put, because these guys are going to make you work every minute of every day. This is not an easy club to win. And when I get all of them together, then it'll, the competition will be real rough because they're going to be competing amongst themselves and you'll see uh, who's got the better birds I can't say the better handler these guys are all good well you know in all fairness we 
we've all got good pitches. Yes. I'm not saying that. Yes. We've all got good pitches. Now, the handling <laughs> skills and what time, what dedication that you put into it, that varies. So, if you put time into it, it's what you get out of it. Now, this year, people didn't believe me when I said, watch George Mandela. Watch him. These last small team you have left, you've managed to win two races. Two races. Two races. I've been competitive all the way up. So, you know, and that I'm says a lot. And top uh, fourth. Yeah, and you're racing against the guys that are really doing it. So, you know, therefore, can anybody else in your club say, I've accomplished that? No, George Mandera has. This red right here is one of my tops right there. This guy is some kind of flyer. He has been outstanding. Just look at the pigeon people. I'm telling you, there's <coughs> nothing. Listen, he's never been second. He's, he's an extraordinary pigeon, all by himself. He's in a class by himself. If I had ten more like that, I could get rid of the whole bunch of birds. He's everything. All these birds. George has clock. How they drop together. Even when you go training, George, they all come back home together. Yeah, they've, they've done very well. Uh, well. He's got a nice family of chocolates and blue bars here. Pretty so grizzled. My, my breed is over there. Uh, the birds look excellent, which is no surprise. It's uh, common. And if I was going to add anything else to my birds, I'd probably end up over here. And I recommend anybody looking for birds, this is the place to come. Uh, you can't put a price on the quality. The little guys spend a lot of money on pigeons. If you get them a lot cheaper over here. And, uh, and they will perform for you. They oh, will. Yeah. For a C note, you can't beat dollar for dollar. Now, if you get out of New York, New Jersey, and you move to Vero Beach, these are the only kind of pigeons that would probably withstand it. But you have to leave New York, because in New York, there, there's not real pigeon flyers up there. There's no pigeon flyers in New Jersey no more. They're all coming down here. Where are they going to go? They're going to go to Bureau Beach. Why? It's the best club in the country. In the country. Did you get your ticket? 